So Azure Express Routes creates private connections between Azure data centers and infrastructure on your premises or in co-location environments. And so uh, connections don't go over the public internet and as a result, offer more reliability, faster speeds, consistent latencies, and higher security. So here's a big old graphic here kind of representing what's going on here. And the idea is that you're gonna have connectivity from uh, different things like from any to any, so that's IP VPN network, a point to point ethernet network, a virtual cross connection. And this is all gonna be going through a connectivity pri provider at a co-location facility. So this example would be a, uh, an edge partner. Uh, and so you would be the customer network, that'd be your on-premise or whatever you want to connect so that you can make it all the way to your Azure services. And the way you would establish a connection is you create these express route circuits. Uh, it's pretty common to have uh, more than one because uh, you wanna have high availability just in case the other one goes out. Uh, the idea is that you can route them, uh, route this traffic to a couple different places. So the first one would be things like peering to Office 3, uh, 365, Dynamics 365, or even your Azure Public Services. So when we say public services, imagine you just launch a, um, a virtual machine that is in a public subnet that has a, a, an IP that's reachable from the internet. Uh, that could just be to that, or maybe you're using like Cosmo DB, or like you have fully qualified domains for other services. Uh, so it's just a way that you can get there. And then let's talk about the other side, which is uh, um, doing private peering for uh, VNet. So the idea is that you have a private VNet, so the subnets are private. And so the only way is gonna be access it, uh, you want a direct way to access it that way. So uh, that's the two ways there. Uh, and just to note, there is Express Route Direct. And so this is like Express Route with an additional benefit that has greater bandwidth connections from 50 megabytes per second up to uh, 10 gigabytes per second. And this is really ideal if you have hybrid solutions where you're, uh, you're moving massive amounts of uh, data or where latency matters because you, you want uh, to feel like these uh, cloud services are right there with your on-premise environment. You're gonna need a lot of speed for that.